Our today's topic of discussion is Ender's stereoselective alkylation, where uh, we use this special reagent, which is called AMP. The full form is one amino two methoxymethyl pyrrolidine. Okay. Now two variants of this reagent is used. One is R AMP, which one is this, and another one is is okay another one is s a m p so these two reagents are used and uh, the reaction is called enders enders r a m p slash s a m p stereoselective alkylation or you can do other additions also. So, uh, in this reaction, we will be talking about alkylation. And this question is actually taken from uh, CSI NET 2022. So, I already posted this on our Facebook page and our YouTube community post. I posted the answer so you can check that. But uh, in this video, I will be discussing about the details of this reaction, how this stereoselectivity comes. In the first part, I will give you a mnemonic uh, by which you can predict the stereoselective outcome. And in the second part, I will discuss about the origin of the stereoselectivity. Right? So uh, if you want, you can watch that. So let's start our today's topic. Okay. So uh, I will erase this part now. Now, uh, I will first uh, use this R compound RAMP. So, this configuration is R if you do. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and hydrogen is uh, below. So, this is 1, 2, 3 clockwise. So, this is R. Okay. Now, what will happen first step? In the first step, this will form hydrazone with this ketone. So, with this ketone, it will form hydrazone in and in so here you have this OME so this is our hydrazone this is the first step of the reaction in the next step in the next step uh, LDA lithium diisopropyl amide very strong base it will basically deprotonate from any of this center either from here or from here basically these two sides are same so it can take proton from any of these two centers and that will give you as I know it. So, let us say it takes a proton from here. Okay. So, let us say it takes proton from here. Okay. So, it will form as I know it in minus and here you will have double bond like this. Okay. So, this will be the thing. Okay, OME. Now you have lithium, you have lithium in your reaction medium, lithium plus, and you have a negative center over here and oxygen over here. So here you will have a chelate formation, right? So here you will have a chelate formation. So this OME, this lithium, and with this nitrogen center, there will be a chelate formation. This chelate is actually one, two, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, a 6 for 6 membered chelate formation will take place. Now, we will see what will be the case with uh, SAMP and RAMP. Okay. So, we can draw that. Uh, let me draw it. So, this is our starting ketone. This is our starting ketone. And if you use R A M P or if you use S A M P according to that you will get two different uh, as I know it which are uh, in chelated state. So, in one case you are going to get uh, this one. Okay, So, in one case you are going to get uh, this N okay, and here you have this Mm, another thing so basically uh, you have this another ring over here okay uh, 
it will be a five membered ring right so it will be a five membered ring okay so here you have this uh o m e here you have this lithium and this nitrogen this is chelated okay so this is above this is above and this is r okay so another one will be uh this one here you have nitrogen here you have the pyrrolidin ring and this is below the plane this below the plane you have ome you have lithium these all things are chelated so this is s okay so this is the difference structure wise both are same only the stereochemistry is different here it is above the plane and here it is below the plane now if you uh, treat um, both of these with some alkylating agent in our question we have uh, n propyl iodide okay n propyl iodide so now the propyl group will be added so uh, this will come back and from here the attack will take place similarly this will come back and from here the attack will take place now the question is uh, this thing this double bond or this double bond they are having two phases one is top phase another one is bottom phase so the question is from which phase the attack will take place okay now if i uh, draw it if i draw it in the flying wedge formula so uh, i can make this bond wedge this is our double bond sorry this is flying and this is our bold bonds okay similarly here we can make this okay and uh, we have this double bond so now uh, these double bonds are like this one okay they, they are the plane of the double bond is actually bisecting the board so we have one plane above that and one plane below that okay now the mnemonic is the mnemonic is when uh, you have r uh, r isomer of the pyrrolidin that is when uh, this this substituent is above the plane uh, the alkyl group any alkyl group in this case propyl group will add from the top so you will get you will get uh, this okay so attack will take place from the top so you get uh, this okay so you get this propyl group okay so you get this and the rest of the group is here so you have this uh, n and the pyrrolidin ring is there so this is for the r isomer or when this is above the plane okay where is below the plane when this group is below the plane the attack will take place from the bottom so you will get uh, this so here uh, actually this will be above and uh, it will add below it will add below the propyl okay and here you have the pyrrolidin ring okay so here you have the pyrrolidin ring okay so here because it is uh, below it is adding from the bottom and here because it is above it is adding from the above. so this is just a mnemonic how this is true selectivity comes we will discuss that but this is just a mnemonic so what you have to remember is uh, whatever alkene you have uh, sorry whatever ketone or aldehyde you have given uh, after the as enolate formation you have to draw it in this way you have to draw it in this way so uh, the orientation of the group will be this side this side and here you have hydrogen here you have hydrogen so you have to place the alkene like this the uh, as i know it like this and then you have to see whether it is r pyrrolidin or s pyrrolidin if it is r pyrrolidin the alkylation or any other electrophile will come from the top side like this propyl group and if uh, it is a spirulidin then it will come from the bottom side like here okay and then uh, um, whatever uh, 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 reagent is given to you for example in this case uh, ozone is given so uh, ozonolysis will take place and you will basically get this ketone so after ozonolysis you will get this ketone final step of the reaction if you remember so these two products you will get the stereochemistry is different in both cases in one case the propyl group is coming from the top in another case it is coming from the bottom and uh, when it is coming from the top when r isomer is used r r amp is used when s amp is used it will 
come from the bottom now we will see how this uh, stereoselectivity comes okay so first we will uh, look into the case of RAMP okay first we will look into the case of RAMP so we have to draw it in its proper way so for that we have to draw this thing first this uh, six membered chelate first okay so yeah so this is our chelate we have one nitrogen here another nitrogen here and we have uh, the lithium over here we have the ome over here okay and here you can see we have this alkin uh, alkin part or the as a enolate part so we have this group and now we have this five membered ring which is actually inducing the stereoselectivity so the five membered ring will be something like this okay so it will come below this and this so this is how the five membered ring will be oriented and uh, here you have the hydrogen okay so this is the thing now you can see uh, the bottom phase of this alkin from where the um, attack to the electrophile will take place is the bottom phase is blocked by this group this five membered ring whereas the top phase is free right so attack from the bottom phase is blocked by this ring this big ring whereas the top phase is free right so that's why the attack is taking place from the top phase the pro uh, in this case the propyl group or any other group will add from the top phase okay now uh, we can see the stereochemistry for the other one the S isomer so in that case we can draw similarly the six membered uh, trans six membered ring chelated ring so this is our chelate we have lithium we have ome and here we have the alkene group okay or the as a enolate part okay and here you have the group so okay so this is the thing uh, okay so this is the five member ring this is one two three four five so this is the five member ring now you can see the top phase is actually blocked you can see this large ring this large ring is blocking the top phase whereas the bottom phase is free so attack from the bottom phase can occur freely but the top phase is blocked so attack cannot take place over here right so this is how the stereo selectivity comes okay so in our question we had rmp so attack will take place from the top phase if it would uh, if it, it was smp the attack would take place from the bottom phase and accordingly that you have to answer so i hope uh, i am able to clear all of your doubts if you have any doubts left you can uh, ask me in the comment section and thank you for watching